transformations in Dragon Ball Z always go crazy. <laughs> like, what is that? What's up, Chaos Air? And Dragon Ball Sparking Zero is finally out with over 180 characters. And yes, they have some of the craziest transformations I've ever seen. But with so many characters, I feel like it's probably best to try and rank them from the worst to the best. So of course, we need to start with the best character, Gohan. Yeah, he's got some untapped potential. Obviously, going Super Saiyan has been his strong suit. I like how he's going against Cell in this. Even the voice lines sound amazing. Wait, wait, stop what? So games just started and you want to just end this right now? Bro, why does this game hold on? Listen, I am very new to Dragon Ball uh, Tenkaichi games. Big fan of the Budokai series, but hey, why does this? This just looks so crisp. Dude's got the one-handed father-son Kamehameha wave. Cell is obliterated. But dude, as a kid, he was able to defeat Cell, but now he's a little, he's a little grown. That Super Saiyan mode was a lot easier to turn into, and this... Whoa, didn't know a transmission get your voice all deep, make your balls drop. I gotta I quit it. And he's going way beyond. He's got his untapped potential form, which I never understood. Ooh, we like this version of Gohan. <laughs> Bug helmet looking hat. The great <laughs> voice lines are perfect. Oh, this Gohan, also not a fan. Why did he go from like really badass to like weird and lame wearing yoga suit wait they even have one-handed gohan that's actually impressive but honestly when it comes to gohan and i know it's everyone's favorite character damn near we're gonna take him and put him all the way to a nice uh, high tier and listen we don't want to rank too high too fast because there's a lot crazier and unexpected transformations that we'll be seeing in this video especially when we get over to the villains of this game their transformations are a lot more unique and the perfect example of that is not perfect cell yet but we've got base form cell i think he's base form here He's just kind of like kind of more of an insect. Just the character design overall. It actually shows him absorbing. That cell always scared the hell out of me. Reasons why I kind of skipped the cell saga. Yeah, I was terrified. I was, I was a young boy. Hey, we got another transformation here. Oh, his lips need some lotion. That's for sure. Oh, perfect. Hey, I think it's also perfect time to like video, subscribe. Because like mentioned, I haven't played many of these Dragon Ball Z games, but I definitely want to like actually hop in. Because after seeing all these different transmissions so far, I definitely need to get my hands on a controller button smash. But hey, for Cell, we're going to take his first form and drag him all the way to... I'm going to give it mid tier. But then again, it was so unique. Uh, high tier. His second form was pretty cool as well. It pretty much showed him swallowing up a dude. Uh, hmm. We're going to put that in mid tier just so you guys don't think I like stuff like that. And then of course... Of course, Perfect Cell, the form itself, it, it's pretty nice. Honestly, Perfect Cell gets uh, trash tier. I'm kidding, he gets high tier as well. As we move on to the next character who is high tier, but doesn't really get the credit ever, that being Vegeta. And we have him when he first visited Earth with his outfit on. Just the outfits itself look amazing. Oh my god, he summoned the moon and he has great ape transformation. Imagine you're just a normal fighter and then all of a sudden you have to fight big giant monkey. But hey, you know, there's nothing wrong with monkeys and, and stuff. It's just kind of unexpected. That is actually insane. Uh, you know, first watching this series, I was like, hey, he can turn into an ape, but he has full control and keeps his outfit on. You should be... Oh, dude, that's badass. He can do a... Oh no, that's fucking sick. Are all the characters going to get top tier rank but hey we got his original super saiyan form which is eh, that's fine what, what is this one next oh super he's super saiyan super vegeta i okay how's it go again but hey we have another version of super saiyan i'm pretty sure that was super saiyan 2 Ooh. oh they have majin vegeta oh the best vegeta my favorite at least is he gonna self-destruct is this it <laughs> no fucking shot yeah, no, Goku, sorry, you're dead. But of course, Vegeta has more transformations. I completely forgot this is a, a whole new next gen game. So when it comes to Vegeta, he can go God mode. There we go, literally Super Saiyan God. And then I'm pretty sure we got Super Saiyan Blue. And you know what? After many years of Vegeta getting shit on, I think it's time for us to honor him in the best possible way ever by putting Vegeta all the way in top tier. Oh, and look, they got a Majin Vegeta option. It's top tier. I just like that version of Vegeta better because he's, he's back to his evil form. Form. But if we're talking evil, we're definitely gonna have to go with another villain character. And that villain being Janemba. I forgot he has a thick form. <laughs> I think he only has one transformation as well. And this looks just like how it happened in the movie. Ooh, that was menacing. Honestly, rank the aura. I need to know. But dude, just look at the teleportation Janemba has. He just pixelates as this character separates into a little tiny dot. Look at that. Look how 
clean at it. But unfortunately, just because he has a high aura, you know, he looked all badass after the transformation. Great fitness journey and all, but hey, we're gonna have to put Janemba fat form in a nice mid tier rank. But of course, if we're talking Super Janemba, we're putting this form all the way in high tier, baby. And you know the perfect character to actually defeat Janemba? Also, he looks fucking badass with the tail in Super Saiyan 4. Good old Gogeta. Psych, how about the mini version of Gogeta? <laughs> Oh, they nailed it. They pulled it off. Go Tanks. Probably the best character ever in anime history. Well, at least for me. Bro, when they first fused, it was like the best thing in the world. But when you actually have these two characters pulling it off perfectly, it was like, <laughs> look at that. Obviously, I was impressed as a kid just watching this shit. I was like, yo. But let's just check out some of his moves real quickly before we move on. He's got his iconic... I forgot he had the victory cannon, oh, dude. Bro, imagine the amount of damages. Oh my God, the galactic. I forgot about these moves. These were like the best. Oh, and it was so, it made more sense for him to have a galactic donut because he's a kid. Yep, yep, a classic. I wonder though, if you do fuck up the fusion in this game, can you get the fat form or this weird skinny one? He's right there. And I'm pretty sure right now he'll be Super Saiyan 3. Oh, perfect. <laughs> Just the fact that he can do this is impressive. <gasps> yeah, no, we're ranking this motherfucker high. And a lot of you guys might just say I'm high for taking Super Saiyan 3 Go Tanks and putting him all the way to top tier next to Vegeta. If anything, Vegeta needs to be um, just maybe a little lower down here, a little maybe. Yeah. Maja Vegeta gets to stay though. He, he's cool. But if we really do want an honest list, I'm going to put base Go Tanks. He would be low tier. Even though his transformation was sick when they first fused. In game, you only have just a few attacks that you can unlock. So at his base form, he only has these four, which is honestly fine. This is the reason why I ranked his base form a little lower. It's just so it makes a lot more sense. Because I really do f with the Galactic Donut. Like, I'm actually getting hungry now. Who's eating food while watching Chaos video? It better be you. And it should be me, because I'm starving. And I'm starving to see this next transformation from this character. Because the fact that they actually have Shen Shenron is actually insane to me. He should only have one transformation, I'm pretty sure, when he swallows the Dragon Balls, becoming... Omega Shenron. Bro, oh, I want more. I want more. Like it shows the exact transmission from the show, like him swallowing balls. But that's really what he does to, yeah, unlock power. Ah, I'm going to give that transmission a good old low tier rank. Listen, Shenron, I'm sorry, okay? Please don't eat me like you ate balls. And trust me, the next character's transmission eats, okay? Like, you, you know what I mean? Like it fucking, it, it fucks hard. He's oob. Oh, he transforms and gives a whole different suit. Wait, that's his only, wait, what the f That's his only transformation. But that's completely fine because he has a command mail wave. I forgot Goku trained this dude. Oh my God. Yeah. See, I feel like Oob never gets his props. We saw him in GT a little bit. Yeah, look at that. Oh, Majub. That's what it, I forgot, Majub. Oh, wait, don't kick the chocolate, eat the chocolate. <laughs> Oh, dude, no, this game is gonna be so much fun. Oh my, this p the potential. I can't speak, but like. Wait, what the hell is a lightning arrow? Holy hell. <laughs> Poor Yamcha. <laughs> We're gonna put Oob in, uh, we're gonna say mid tier. This game, Sparking Zero, really just it surprises me every time because we have Master Roshi powering up and becoming his ultimate form. Big, thick Roshi. <laughs> That's his only transformation. He's big buff. Yeah. What the fuck is that move? <laughs> I need to rewatch some of the older shows. My technique was something else, right? Yeah, I think so. And again, I'm surprised he's doing all this with glasses on as well as slippers. He's he's wearing sandals. I also forgot Master Roshi created the Command Mayo Wave. Max Power Command Mayo Wave. Oh my god. No. Yeah, we're gonna have to rank this motherfucker high. <laughs> yeah, no. Krillin's dead. And I also love the way his mustache moves when he talks. Kind of goofy looking. And I know Master Roshi's human and all, but we're gonna have to rank him in a nice spot of <gasps> trash tier. I know the backlash I might get for this. He's the originator of the Kamehameha wave. He just powers up and becomes big buff. I don't know why, but I feel like I would actually get hate for this. <laughs> Roshi, please listen. I'll make up for it by ranking one of your students even higher because it is about time I rank the most popular character in Dragon Ball Z. We have Goku Black. <laughs> it's not really Goku, it's black version. He ain't black, but like, you know what I mean? Like Goku Black. This is for everyone you've killed. Hold your fire. This man isn't black. 
<laughs> gets me every time. He meant it's not Goku black, but he's also not black, so don't shoot. I'm gonna say it. Transmission is a little too easy and quick. No, the color's great. Motherfucker just bought some hair dye from like a CVS, but I mean, don't get me wrong. Goku black was a pretty sick character, but for some reason, I hated him in Super. I watched just a bit of Super. I got up to this arc and I was just like, he, he kind of ruined it for me for some reason. But in game, his moves, oh, he's got a black bind move, a black power ball. Wait, a black Kamehameha. Oh, sh wait a minute. Is he just changing up the color palette? Yeah, see, transformation, like I said, way too fast. But yeah, we're gonna take Goku Black, who really isn't black, and put him all the way in a nice low tier rank. Honestly, no, he, he gets trashed because that transmission was, I would say, even worse than Roshi's. Fuck you, Black. Fuck you. <clears throat> but this next character's transformation actually fucks because it is another villain, Majin Buu. Oh, dude, the Buu saga was my favorite. And what is he doing with the. That looked inappropriate. It's still looking inappropriate. <laughs> Okay, so he's absorbing Gohan here by teabagging him. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. What, what the f*** did he... Did we skip the transformation here? If I remember correctly, Fat Boo dies, and then this evil Boo spawns out of Fat Boo. Okay, never mind. So this is the evil Boo that should be transforming. Do it. Do it. <laughs> Wait a minute. Consume him. Oh, my God. Wait, yes. This is how he summons the noob. Holy self destruct <laughs> Bro, I always hated Bobbity, dude. That, that's Bobbity, right? But then, of course, we have regular Majin Buu. He's not Super Buu yet, I don't think, here. But we're not seeing any transformations. Does he not have any unique... Stop punching the pastries! Okay, now we can transform, right? Maybe we get a cutscene of, of absorbing Gohan, possibly? Holy sh... Did he just summon a black hole? I would have to say Majin Buu is my favorite character, design-wise. Okay, we got a transformation. We got a... Oh, I, Come on. This is exactly what I was wanting. Okay, so only Super Boo has his transformations like this, all animated like. And even his special moves, the Super Kamehameha Wave, the fact that Boo can also do this is, it's, it's so clean. Oh yes, we do get the cutscenes of him absorbing, but it's damn near the same. Oh, he turned the bubble go. He's, oh, they hate candy, I swear. And even the attacks are, <gasps> okay, see, that attack was badass. Summoning ghosts to do Kamehameha waves and sh- Oh, and now we're Kid Buu. I'm pretty sure Kid Buu has no transformation. So in terms of just regular Majin Buu and Evil Buu, they're going into the trash. But when we have Super Buu, he has those cool animated transformations just like in the show. Unfortunately, it seems like it's copy and paste. We're gonna have to do low tier for that one. So Buu Han, <laughs> crazy name gets a nice position of a mid-tier rank overall when it comes to attacks yeah we're gonna put super boo all the way in a high tier position and i'm seeing kind of like a pattern now it seems like a lot of villains are in this high tier area i think we need a good guy now but we have a true hero future trunks his transformation has always been the coolest wait he's gonna get even thicker okay he ain't that thick yeah give, give him a moment give him a moment watch this yes <laughs> Exactly what I was talking about. Not legendary Super Saiyan, but I'm pretty sure this is the rage form of Super Saiyan. Dude, look at the muscles, them calves. But he's got another transformation. What, what is that for? So when it comes to future trunks, we're going to put him in high tier. And yes, I did mention legendary Super Saiyan. And we all know the only person who can achieve that the menace himself brawly and this is z brawly from like the, the movies and shit from dragon ball z not super brawly yeah no look at this these forms are fucking i'm already terrified yep terrified oh we have super brawly now from super and shit okay so this brawly is obviously he's a bit different oh my god how are you that scary and you haven't lost your shirt yet <laughs> we want that shirt off power up baby yep there we go i want to check out some of the moves that broly has he just kind of stands there and everything is effortless look at that i don't even know what move this is but it's i would not want to be here when it happens oh my god okay in this form he has just a few moves uh and they're more physical attacks grabbing him by the throat <laughs> Eraser. Oh, I forgot about the eraser cannon. It makes sense because he's about to get erased. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> and I know for sure that Super Broly has like a beam that comes out of his mouth and sh which is kind of weird, but it's also devastating. So I wonder if they have it in this game. Scum is scum after all. Dude, the voice lines too. Omega Blaster. <laughs> Did he destroy the planet with- I'm pretty sure he destroyed the planet with this sh If you're still watching this far into the video, destroy that subscribe button like it's <laughs> planet Earth. Oh, there's the mouth thing. Oh, wait, so only Supers Broly can do it? 
Okay, wait. This version of Broly is a lot more devastating. What the f I just like that all these characters have different like play styles and cutscenes like this. This is violent. It's a fighting game, so it makes sense. Oh yeah, no, get face. Oh yeah, no, no, no. Yep, yeah, I think we're done. No, he's not done. Oh shit! It just keeps going. It keeps yeah, we're gonna rank this motherfucker high. And I'm proud to say that I'm not high when I put Super Saiyan Broly all the way in a respectable spot of top tier S rank position. And hey, it's not gonna end there because we do have the Z version of Broly. Ah, he doesn't get top tier, but he does get the high rank. He's definitely my favorite Saiyan. So honestly, I think it might be time to move on to everyone else's favorite Saiyan. It is Goku. And this is Kid Goku from GT. How many Gokus are there in this game? There's literally seven. Goku's. Oh no, he can. Hold on, he. Dude, we're gonna see all these transformations this fast. Kept you waiting, huh? You're gonna keep me waiting with all these fucking hairstyles. Just keep going, dude. Super Saiyan 2, okay. Next up, Super Saiyan 3, baby. Mmm. I guess they want to make the transformations quick in this. Okay, no, we have Kid Goku again. Oh, I forgot. He does the Super Saiyan 3. Ah, there we go. What the f How many Goku's? Okay, this has to be like super. Right? Oh, yep, yep. So he's going from Super Saiyan God all the way to Super Saiyan Blue. Okay, Super Saiyan Blue's transformation is the best. I'm only saying this because you can obviously see the animation is completely different. What the fuck is this going to be? Wait a minute. Is this Ultra? It's got to be Ultra Instinct, right? Oh, rank the aura, please. Uh huh. Yep. Oh, the dog. Oh, yep. No, the one that fell <laughs> was not expecting that, honestly. And neither was Vegeta. Okay, so that one's called the instant command mail wave, and that shit's quick. Holy fuck. He pushes it. He pushed that shit. Yo, I just want to see him pull off the, the dragon fist move. Yeah, oh my god, there it is. Please show the dragon. Oh, that's amazing. Okay, the limit break god Kamehameha wave. So you can only do this when you're in Super Saiyan Blue mode. He's got like a fucking shield around him for why? Holy sh Okay, so now we're gonna have the final Ultra Instinct Kamehameha wave. This is his last form, I'm pretty sure. What the hell? Oh my god. Whoa, 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 completely different than I expected. Whoa, 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 <laughs> What the fuck? Dashes and hops while doing it? Is that a thing he didn't even do ultra instinct yet see how how strong is goku at this point i'm actually confused supreme kamehameha i this is it okay yeah no goku needs to be patched wait wait wait. this is a bit different wait, wait this is really different just punch the hole through the ground and let hell release. Oh no, see, that is, I'm glad I kept watching. And now we have um, Kid Goku, you know, from Dragon Ball. He's unexperienced, so whatever this special is, I mean. Oh, it's actually, I remember this. He uses the Kamehameha wave to fucking fly pretty much. And, oh, that's clean. That's so clean. Is this going to be game of the year? Let's just take one of these Gokus and just rank him as a whole. Because honestly, he deserves a nice position of the almighty rank of top tier rank. Clap it up. Yep, this is why he's the main character. He's overpowered as f I mean, dude, Ultra Instinct Goku. For me, at least, he would get a top tier. And if we're going to rank it that way, I'm going to have to put, like, regular Goku in high tier. Ultra Instinct Goku, he deserves top tier. But there's other characters that I'm really unfamiliar with because, again, I haven't seen Super. And it's this chick girl thing. Apparently, there's a different universe where there is a there's female Super Saiyans. Like, who the hell is this? She's got abs. Is she Brawly form? Her name's Kale. Wait, there's two of them. And they're gonna... Oh, I get it. But like, bro, these... I don't know what the f*** she's doing. Okay, the f***ing hair is sick. Oh, so she only goes regular Super Saiyan while this character can do a lot more. And this form, she contains it, which I completely missed the first time, but then goes damn near legendary Super Saiyan. Either way, I'm gonna have to put her in a high tier rank. And when it comes to Kale, her berserk form, she's up there with Broly, okay? Damn near looks like Broly in this image too. And I really love characters that help each other out when they need to defeat a villain. Cause yes, I'm talking about fusion characters. Like everyone's favorite fusion character that there is. When Goku and Vegeta put on the fancy goofy fashion earrings and fuse together indefinitely. 
Exactly. Get it. Vegito. Look at that. In his Super Saiyan form. <laughs> it's it's still so cool. Oh, is this the Super versions of... Just one more time. See, this game has so much shit in it. This is Vegito from Super now. Oh, because he's got better transformations. Vegito goes Super Saiyan Blue. We know where he's going to get ranked. Oh, my God. I think I with the character design the most, mostly because he has gloves on. The outfit's like inverted and I really had like the coolest action figure of this character. Oh, and yet he merges attacks and he, he's got a sword too. Wait, where's the sword? This is this ain't the sword. Oh yeah, it, yeah, there it is. Yep, that's the, yep, mm -hmm, he's doing it. He's doing it. <laughs> the transformations are confusing my brain right now. There's a lot of different names and shit. Yeah, there might be no question to this, but we're gonna have to place Vegito as a whole in a really nice spot. But of course, there's another fusion character. We should probably watch that one before we rank. It is good old Gogeta. Fusion. This is Super's version, right? Interesting. Okay. Oh shit. Wait, wait for it. Wait for it. Yo, I've seen this somewhere. I think it was when he fought Broly. I need to rewatch GT as well. Monkeys touching tips. <laughs> Bro, all these special attacks from Gogeta as well just go fucking crazy. Look at this shit. We're not going to start any wars in the comments, but who do you have? Vegito or Gogeta? I might have to say Gogeta's my favorite. But yeah, look at like an attack like that. It just, it feels right. Oh my God. Yeah, like whatever the fuck that move. Look at how <laughs> Kind of cutscene. I've never seen them do a cutscene like this yet. I am the strongest. He, he said it himself. Oh my god. Game of the year, I'm saying it. This is a quote from me. Okay, let's see what the monkey form does now. Because I'm assuming that it's got to be. Oh, the Big Bang one. This is the one that destroys the planet. Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> dude, Frieza would it literally just would not stand a chance ever. Ah, uh, like I said, dude, my favorite is, of course, Gogeta. So we're going to put Vegito in high tier. While Blue Gogeta kind of needs to go a bit higher in top tier, baby. <laughs> Look at that. Perfect. But for being a little more specific here, yeah, the Super Saiyan 4 version of Gogeta, I'm going to put him in mid tier only because the transformation wasn't that spectacular. Wait, no way. They actually put baby Vegeta. They put baby in the game. Wait a minute. This is GT. Oh, wait, 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 the unique transformations. Okay, the second one was clean, nothing too crazy. Whoa! Just the fact that baby Vegeta's in this game, I'd have to say he would have to go in mid-tier. Only because transformations were really quick, okay? And I think we need to tackle a character that is probably the god of transformations, okay? His super final form was the strongest. And of course, I'm talking about Frieza. Oh my god, they actually showed him growing like that? My second ball makes my previous look he, Oh no, yeah, like I said, king of the transformation. Oh! They actually show, like, the body fucking morphing and shit. Wait, there's more? Does he get... 100? Oh, he's got veins in his back. I was never really a fan of uh, Frieza's character design, only because he looked like Mewtwo. <laughs> but he really does deserve a nice top tier rank. And if we're really talking super powerful, there's a character that's like really fucking good. That character being Kaba. I don't understand because he looks really skinny. There's no muscle anywhere. Someone like this probably has some untapped potential, dude. He's, he's still going. That motherfucker's scrawny. Try my best. <laughs> I'll, I'll try my best. I probably have no clue how powerful this kid is. Final stream. Wait a minute. What is he like? A doctor's respect? Why he's gonna have his final stream? <laughs> what the fuck is the final stream? Before I go and rank this character, I feel like I might need to Google a little bit. Oh my god, he's so scrawny. God damn. He's a fair skinned short statured, very slim build. So Vegeta ends up teaching this. Kaba kids some some stuff, okay. But hey, in the case of Kaba, that's how you say his name, right? We're gonna have to put him in a low tier rank. Only I feel like that's reasonable from what I know so far. But I need to know, what do you guys think of this list so far? I might change a few things around, like this. I don't know if you noticed the change there, but hey, that's the final list. But this is not my final video on Sparking Zero. If you guys really want to see me continue playing this game, hit subscribe. Let's hit this like goal as well. But for now, click here on screen for my next video, where I rank other super characters from a different universe. <laughs> Oh, wait, hold on. We still got one more. Last transformation, Fusemasu. Oh no, they're about to do it. Let's put these goofy ass earrings on again. Oh, best fusion. Wait, hold on, it's it's not done. 
Oh my, he's in the game.